This is the third section of the T formally uh, chapter and here we're going to be looking at solving trig equations. Now the steps we're going to follow, uh, the first step is that we will set uh, T equal to tan theta over 2. Now you may need to double this up depending on the question. Then we take the equation that we've given and we write the equation, the equation in terms of T equation in terms of t using our t formulae uh, then we actually solve for t so we work out what the value of t is and then after that we'll substitute back and it will be that whatever we found t is that value will be tan theta over 2 yes yeah, so that'll be equal to what we've just solved for t and then from that we can find the solutions so find solutions now these could be in radians the equations or they could be in degrees so just watch out for that and it may mean the use of a cast diagram as well just to ensure that we get all of the solutions um, uh, that are required Okay, so here it says solve this equation here. Um, and our solutions need to be between 0 and 2 pi and solutions to two decimal places. Now this actually doesn't say which method we need to use to solve this equation. So we're gonna, I'm going to show you two ways using the T formulae and if you've done pure two you know that you could write that in the form um, r sine theta minus alpha or you could do it as r cos theta plus alpha using the addition formula so we're going to do it both ways so you can compare and see which one you prefer to do so using the t formulae so we start with t equals tan theta over 2 so that means we will have 2 sine theta so sine theta is going to be 2 times 2t over 1 plus t squared minus 3 times cos theta cos theta is going to be 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared equals 1 Right, so that will give us uh, 4t minus, now we can put these all together because they're the same denominator. So minus, and then we're going to have um, minus 3 plus 3t squared all over, I'm just making sure I expand it properly, 1 plus t squared equals 1. Then we'll times both sides by 1 plus t squared. So I've got 3t squared plus 4 minus 3 equals 1 plus t squared. So then everything can be brought to the same side. So I'll have 2t squared. Um, sorry, I missed a t out there. 4t. Uh, 2t squared uh, plus 4t. And then I'm going to take away four from both sides so sorry one from both sides so i've got minus four equals zero i can divide everything by two so i've got t squared plus two t minus two equals zero now all this factorize uh, two and one no it won't factorize i want to find the value of t so there's different ways i could do it i could use a quadratic equation but the numbers are quite small so let's complete the square and see what we get. So I'll have t plus 1 all squared. So I've already got the minus 2. And uh, that bracket will give me a plus 1, which I need to get rid of as well. So that will give me t plus 1 all squared. Uh, and then that's minus 3 equals 0. So that will be 3 on the other side, 
So then I can find my value of t equal to, so it will be our minus 1 plus or minus root 3. Okay, so this is what uh, tan theta over 2 equals. It equals negative 1 plus or minus root 3. So now I'll use my calculator to find the principal solutions by doing the tan inverse of negative 1 plus root 3 and negative 1 minus root 3. I've already done one of them. So the tan inverse of negative 1 plus root 3. Now remember this is in radians. So 0 0.631. Now we want to go for at least three significant figures. So... I'll write four decimal places and then I'll, I'll round it afterwards. And then my other solution, principal solution. So if I go back and change the plus root 3 to negative root 3 or minus root 3, um, I end up with uh, minus 1.21. OK, now, obviously, I want to get these values in the range. So now I'm going to use a cast diagram to make sure I get the correct solution. C, A, S, T. So 0 pi over 2, pi 3 pi over 2. OK, so if we put the, um, the 0 0.6 result down 0 0.6319 over here it means there's going to be another solution down there okay so um, we need to do let's write these down so we've got 0 0.6319 then we need to do um, actually it's this angle here isn't it that one around that side so the next one is going to be uh, pi plus 0.6319. So this is what all the theta over twos are. Then we are going to put on the negative angle, the negative 1.2199. So that's going to be something like this. So we need to make it a positive angle. So we'll add 2 pi to that. So we've got another solution at um, 2 pi, which we're adding to negative 1.2199. And there'll be another one here. Okay, so this was like the negative 1.219. So we can do pi minus uh, that value to get the other solution. So pi minus 1.2199 to get our other solution. Now these are all what the values of pi over 2 are. We then need to multiply all of them by 2. And if we do that, um, and we'll make a note of the solutions which are in a range, we will get four values. And our four values will be, um, starting with the smallest, 1.2638, which is in the range. So 1.2638, so we'll call that 1.267. That's in the range. Then we'll get a value of 7.5468. That's too big, it's bigger than 2 pi. And then we'll get 3. 8432 and we'll call that 3.843 then the next value we'll get will be 10.1264 that's outside of the range so that's no good so these will be our final two solutions so you should be fine about um, solving uh, trig equations and finding their solutions using a cast diagram OK, so let's look at the other method, which is um, the R sine 
theta minus alpha, r cos theta plus alpha. I'm going to use the r sine theta minus alpha. So we know that the expansion of that, so expansion of this, will be r sine theta cos alpha minus cos theta sine alpha. Okay, so mashing it up with what we've got, let's just write it down here. So we've got 2 sine alpha minus 3 cos alpha, uh, sorry, 2 sine theta minus 3 uh, cos theta. So that means that cos alpha equals 2 and sine alpha equals 3. So we can get from that that tan alpha equals 3 over 2 and if we work that out to find alpha we'll get something like um, 0.9827 okay and then we can find the value of r as well r is going to be um, the square root of 3 squared plus 4 uh, not 4 squared 2 squared it's actually 4 isn't it 2 squared so we get r equal to root 13. So that means that this 2 cos or 2 sine theta minus 3 cos theta can be written instead as root 13 r sine theta minus alpha which is 0.9827 so actually this is what we want to solve now we want to solve root 13 sine theta minus 0.9827 is equal to 1 and then we can rearrange it so sine theta minus 0.9827 is equal to 1 over root 13. So now if we do the sine inverse of both sides, we will get theta minus 0.9827, so the dots just show it continues, is equal to 0.2819. I'm not going to find all the solutions because we know how to do that already, but um, if I add that 0.9827 to both sides, um, I will get theta equal 0.6319, okay, which is the same first uh, solution. Sorry, ignore that, that was wrong. I should have checked it on my calculator. Yeah, 0.219 plus 0.9827 it is 1.26. 4, 6, and that was my mistake. This is like this first solution here. Yeah, so I do get that first solution. So this is an alternative way of doing it. Um, I think maybe the T formula might be slightly more straightforward, but you can use either method to solve an equation like this. I suppose the T formula means you don't need to have knowledge of this r sine theta r cos theta method which you wouldn't have until year two anyway um, but i will put a link below in the description if you'd like to have a look at how you do this method in uh, your pure mass lessons you should now be able to complete exercise 5c on pages one two three to one two four so the way that we're going to solve these equations is we set t equal to tan theta over 2 then the next step after that is to uh, write our equation write our equation in terms of t in terms of t then once we've written it in terms of t we solve for t solve for t and then once we've solved for t we can then say okay tan theta over 2 equals whatever that number is and then we can find the solutions and when we find those solutions we're going to be like using cast diagram that type of thing
yeah, to help us make sure we get all the solutions.